Okay. Right now, I am majoring in art and hoping to find a career within graphic design. It has always been an interest of mine, and I love learning more and more about it every day. Art would definitely be considered a discourse community considering that it meets all six standards. A common goal, ability to communicate and give feedback, use, utilizing more than one category, acquiring a specific, a specific language, and having all levels of expertise within the group. The first characteristic in a discourse community is when a group of people all have a common goal and interest. Even though art careers have a very wide range of jobs, everyone has the same goal of sharing their work with the world. For example, in art, I will most likely find a career within graphic design. However, I, would, I could still fit into an art discourse community because I find it interesting and work within it. A person with a career in business could not fit in this community since they do not share the same goal or interest. However, they would be in their own discourse community with the people who find business appealing. The second characteristic is the ability to communicate with others within the group. Artists are able to communicate with each other through images, sounds, and stories that they create. It is easy for artists to understand each other's pieces since we have all learned how to make our own. For example, it would be easy for me to interpret a piece of artwork since I have made or used similar tactics in making my own. The third characteristic in a discourse community involves public engagement to provide um, information and feedback. In all the art classes I've taken so far, after every assignment, we have had some kind of critique with the class. Within these critiques, we showcase our artwork and give each other compliments and constructive criticism based on our opinions and experience. This helps to see different people's perspectives and views while also learning from one another. The fourth characteristic utilizes more than one subcategory within the main category. In this instance, art is the main category and graphic design would be an example of one subcategory. Other subcategories would include painting, architecture, graffiti, or photography. The fifth characteristic is an acquired specific Lexus. What this means is a special kind of language within the group. In art, this includes words like space, texture, tone, and form. These words are considered limited to only artists, considering people who study other subjects do not know what they mean. Just like how I probably wouldn't know business or science terms that people in those careers may use. The last characteristic in a discourse community is certain amount of people within, with different talents and expertise. This is shown in the category of art throughout schoolings and jobs. There are always a certain amount of ex experts to teach those who have lower skill, just like any school or job. To be more specific to art, there are always people who are better than others, considering that everyone has different talents. Some may be better at drawing, while others might be better at photography, but they teach each other ways in which to grow and learn in those subjects. Discourse communities are very important to have in society. They bring people together and make us feel welcome. Everyone has some kind of discourse community that, can they, that they can fit into, whether it's a career or just a hobby. It's important to learn from each other and teach one another our skills so that they can be carried on to and improved in the next Discord's community generation.